St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I like that we're just standing there as they approach. <laughs> Better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. We'll know soon enough. O okay. We're ready to upload the data as soon as you're close. We'll bring it out. So what the hell are you boys doing here? Yeah, I get the impression this is gonna backfire. Fill up at the old Peltro gas station. Splendidly. In case you didn't see it, sign says gas low. But no, I'm guessing you guys don't got that. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. Yeah. Come on, guys. Just gotta clear out. Can't let them see me. Start the the okay, so they went around the left side there. Wait, where am I? Seems like a lot of freaks around the grotto. Who am I? Yeah. Well, Where's the researcher? Good. Basically, what I'm getting at here. Oh, they're in there. Seems so like I can probably. Yikes. Yeah, here he is. No, two zero six zero. We have completed the survey Jeez. of twenty-four nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery. Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Oh, Crazy Willies. Yes. Oh, Crazy, crazy Willies. Some things about the old world I don't There's a safe there, crazy if anyone's Willies wondering. South of the Belknap Crater. I got a question. Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... Never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. Oh, I'm trying to just go out the window, guys! When they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask if I had to guess, that's some type I of carryover too. from, uh... It wasn't a grunt, you know? When they were... Yeah, normal people. Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. A large camp at Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist. And the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Load complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. Yeah, what the... Nice. Flying all over for hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Anyone else here Don't. then? Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Okay. I'll take this. We should be fine. Oh, 
On Herod's birthday. So, I'm not really familiar with that kind of stuff. So there's probably some inferences there that I'm not picking up on. If you guys happen to know what those are, I'd love to know. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. I mean, the thing is, is he knows with certainty, 100%, that whatever he asks us to do. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. Lynch, man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. Huh. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. Okay, so we have a couple of things going on here. Here we're looking for Boozer. Over here is, uh, Lynchman. Uh, we might as well do this, and then when we return to the area to probably turn this in, since it's a bounty thing. Uh, then we can check on Boozer at the same time. Runners, damn it! Captain Corey! Get Captain Corey! J just radio him, damn it! The outpost is under attack! Corporal, gotta move out! The hell? Gotta move out! Corporal, there's more coming! Corporal! Looks like I'm gonna have to go around this way. I am. Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess. You got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Oh, frick. We haven't seen a random horde like that. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No. Why? Making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Uh, we're gonna stick with our ripper weapon that we have. <laughs> Bike needs fuel. Is this telling me? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Let's go find fuel. Oh, everybody's so, got work okay. for me now. Okay, I'll see if I can make time. Deacon out. Scrap. I know we're not going to find fuel in here, but we can use the scrap too. For our ripper blade. Oh, we will have fuel at this thing though. One of the interesting things that I find, well, there's a couple of weird inconsistencies in this game that are just, like, interesting design choices. And one of them is that when we find a mission that needs a bike, a lot of times it just gives us unlimited fuel. But in this scenario, and in a couple scenarios past, 
we need to have sufficient fuel in the bike for the mission to launch. Which is just a bit weird. Do I need to take this? No. Maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we didn't need to get fuel, but. You gotta take it closer. Look. Uh, here we go. Which way? So we definitely came up this way before, and this thing wasn't active, so. Oh shit! There he is. Let's go. On the bike. He's got friends. Come on! Oh, no, you're not gonna get away. Oh, shit. You know, go to hell! You got that shit, to cut him. So we're using the boost. Our aim is drastically reduced. I can't really catch him up, or can't catch up to him really to ram him. Sure you want to go through here? Down to the last bullet, too. Woo! How's it going, Lynch, man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, hey, hey! I'm not even me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash okay. the seeds. Maybe they'll just shoot you. You know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Have a nice nap. Got him, and uh, let us send you his position. Send someone out here to take him off. I can leave you, and I will leave you. Merci beaucoup. All right. Uh, meat gathered from animals. Cooldown on stamina recovery is probably a good one. Let's grab this. That's gonna unlock that next tier as well. So that gets us uh, extra scrap efficiency, adrenaline when low on health, and inventory space, which I actually think is probably nice. They have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. See you, Lynch man. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Hey, uh, Deacon, can you 
you stop by. Oh, let me guess. You got a job. Yeah. Okay. Say it out. Okay, so all of the camps, all of a sudden, have a bunch of jobs for us. We'll pay to get this repaired and save our scrap for the, uh, ripper thing. We'll check on what I'm sure is going to be a How's pretty depressed boozer. You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? I'll be here if you need me. All right. How's it going, brother? Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, that's tough. I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thank you, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc. Doc, seriously though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? <laughs> Very funny. I like that he's William, like lay down. <laughs> I did not expect him to be like that, so that's cool. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care of Deacon, some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. I got the warms and fuzzies. It's good. A weapon. Boozer shotgun. Hell. Seems like he's uh, yes. getting better. All right, so uh, I believe Ricky had a job. Every camp has a job. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. No prob. We'll uh, we'll try to connect these jobs Looking together high, in a way that makes hey, sense. Okay, so oh, it's like right here, right north with Ricky. Okay, we'll do that. Drifters at Eden Hill. Oh wait, what the? This is totally separate. What? Okay, well, we'll do the one that's close. Boozer seems to be in pretty good spirits, all things considered. Probably in much better spirits than I would be if I was in the same situation. If I'm being honest. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me. Yeah, there's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Why do I got to be that guy? Duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo, he can't come with you. He's coming with me. See? Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I got to go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. It's a good point. It doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. 
Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Wow. I said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. Yeah. Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. No. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Well, I don't know. <laughs> We're just doing the work, lady. Okay, where is she taking us? Here. Okay. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Easy. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut oh, down. Oh, it's going to be overrun. Escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to go grab some of the guys nope. that can wreck. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rivers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no. We're doing this my way. So, I'm wondering, with all these little towns and such that people have, like, okay, they've Fine. got the fences okay. and whatever, but what's stopping what's a horde right? from just... I gotta ask you, the other night... ...stacking up on each other and... Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, from the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, oh, that's so way you better. you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Which it will. Wrong. Following you. I love the sound of that bike. It's so nice. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. A big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. Probably true. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing <laughs> serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. 
wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer, with Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You'd never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. <laughs> Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. Well, I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. <laughs> you just wanted out of Marsh duty. Okay, you got me. Jesus. What happened? Something happened. Look at nothing, this. Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? No, he didn't say anything. No, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Hey, I'm just going to throw this out there. Probably Freakers. Oh, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Hold up. We got to check this police car. Where are you going? Down here. Hold on. Oh, it's not letting me in. God damn it. I already hear him. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. So something's yeah. blocking it? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh, hello. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Oh, I started just walking or around or the bridges. Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. What are you thinking? Should we go towards the screams? I still haven't seen a weapon. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna see if I can now take this one out of here. No, it's for a different one. Give me a sec, Riki. Yeah, you little pricks, you stay up there. Come here, touch this. Come on. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. So she's insinuating that there's a blockage, we're right? We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? 
They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this? Uh, yeah, I was just about to ask. I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. Okay. I was going to school part time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. So you're a genius. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. Let's figure this out. <sighs> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go.